place. The leadership of the House of Representatives met with concerned parties regarding the ASU strike with a view to ensuring that students in tertiary institutions resume academic activities as soon as possible. One of the issues in contention is the payment system for universities. Is there any country in the world where salaries for lecturers are paid from the Office of Academic General? Why is the idea of the law? Let me be short to Nigeria. Are they using the Central Bank? Are they not people that don't have law? Are they using it either? You see, one of the risks in thinking of even adopting new tests is that if you do this, you are going to create a room for everybody to now come to say, you know what, we are also unique. Give us our own. Mr. Speaker, as we speak now in the university environment, we already have two. There are three applications. If the end of the test says that TAS or U3PS is the superior one, government should adopt that one. We are vehemently opposed to multiple applications because all that it will do is, you know, worsen our already bad fiscal situation. As far as university payment is concerned, the three solutions have failed our test because that is what we tested. Estimating progresses, a comment from the Minister of Labor, leads to a slightly rowdy session. Mr. Speaker, uh, it's a jocular, but it's still serious. That what? That the also president said that the APC government are kept children at home and that Nigerian people should vote out people who are not kept at home. No, it is. What did he say? But, 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 we're making progress. Uh, Mr. Speaker, after the you get, it, you get the opportunity. You get the opportunity after the Amid the rowdy session, the Minister of Labor excuses himself with the permission of the Speaker. When the dust settles, the head of service comments on what she describes as rampant employment in the universities, while the Speaker appeals to ASU for a compromise. The, the TG budget is always sitting on my head when it is time to pay salaries because they keep borrowing to pay salaries. The bulk of the personnel cost that government pays goes to tertiary institutions. The white paper we told you we'll get, the letter is here, I just showed it, I just waved it. It's now waiting for the uh, president's uh, final approval on the revitalization, revitalization fund. If this is the enabling environment you're trying to get to and you're here, and you cannot get to here now, but you can get to here now, to the middle, let's take it and continue to work towards getting to that final destination. The leadership of the House is hopeful that this may be the final meeting on the ASU strike before meeting the President and appeals to ASU and the government to accept the outcome for the benefit of Nigerian students. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.